For the best in eyewear, call Dr. Leak's Optometry. Stephanie Riska Kennedy of Las Vegas has a four-year-old with severe hemophilia who needs expensive medication with no generic substitute. She says her insurance provider offers a policy that would have left her family with $7,000 a year in co-pays. Her son has qualified for a program that allows them to navigate around the policy, but she points out many others don't have that option. It puts a lot of stress on the families and it makes them start to rethink, okay, should we be finding somewhere to live that's cheaper so we can save the money? Should we get another part-time job to come up with the cost so that we can continue these medications. In the survey conducted by Consumers for Quality Care, 72 percent of respondents said they struggle to budget because of the unpredictability of out-of-pocket medical costs, and nearly 15 percent of Nevadans pay more than 10 percent of their annual household income for insurance premiums, which is higher than the national average. Kelly Gonzalez, a chronic disease educator in Las Vegas, has also had to jump through hoops to get medications for her family because of policies aimed at reducing costs for the insurance companies. She says in order to implement these cost-cutting policies, more flexibility is needed. But those 30% of the population that do have to have name brand or that do have to have copay assistance or that can't go in and out of the hospital, those are the people that I worry about. I'm one of those people. My husband's one of those people. Our children are those people. Jason Resendez with Consumers for Quality Care notes for those who are most susceptible to COVID-19, such as people with underlying health conditions like diabetes or hypertension, preventive care is critical. It's these high premiums and co-pays and deductibles that really create a barrier to preventative care and create, I think, susceptibility to COVID and possibly to future pandemics. Seven in 10 people serve surveyed feel insurance companies are nickel and diming them. And while most said they want health care system reforms, a majority also agreed any changes need to be made carefully as the nation recovers from the pandemic.